Let's do some rapid fire. Welcome back everybody. You're watching the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today we got something different for you. It's, it's Thanksgiving and tomorrow's Black Friday. So every year I got to do a Black Friday video. This year it's a review on the Zender Super Bass Pro 2000. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, I'm not watching this. You should stick around, give it a little bit of time. You might learn a little bit about me. You might be entertained a little bit. You might learn something about what this box here humming in the background is. So give the video a chance. There is bonus footage already filmed that will be at the end of the video. It's a secret bonus footage at the end of the video. Forty volts, twenty volts, twenty volts. Each one is ten amps, and it's. Believe it or not, snow actually increases the amount of solar. I'll show a clip right around now of where I was last week with a similar setup, testing this out. We've got all our solar panels out, charging it up. Ran that heater like you wouldn't believe last night. It was cold, maybe 10 degrees and windy last night. But maybe we'll have a, a fire out here tonight. So I know it's hard to see with the glare, but this is the input watts. 390 watts will be charged in five hours from a dead battery. One o'clock in the afternoon, we'll continue to get over 300 watts till 2.30 in the afternoon, and that is November 20th. You have 60 volts at 10 amps. You put all three in series so the amps stay the same and the volts add together. Here's the panels. These are each rated at 200 watts, 246. You'll be getting nearly 400 watts out of 600 watts of panels in November, middle of November. We're one month away from the shortest, lowest sun angle of the year. That's pretty darn good. So what if you don't have time to wait five hours for this to charge via solar in November. You can plug this thing into the wall and this is advertised as the fastest charging solar generator battery unit on the market. Waiting, blinking at me, must be thinking. I heard a click, fan kicks on, 1765 watts going in. That's a lot of watts. Recharge time is only 1.2 hours. Now, I do not recommend you do this. If you want your battery to last as long as possible, you charge it slow. You don't want heat building up, even though this does have a, sounds like a pretty good fan system in there. I would suggest using the phone app and turning down these watts. This is beneficial once in a while if you really need to charge it fast. But like I said, I would bump that down to five, 600 max. So you should know there is a phone app that connects to this when you have Wi-Fi. Got this plugged in, and we're gonna see if we can chop some wood, cut some wood. Through the app, there's this thing called Amp Up. But we'll see without Amp Up, if this will turn on. Now this bad boy is a beast. I almost got lightheaded lifting this sucker up. All right, let's see if this will power up. It's an old school, rigid 12 inch compound sliding miter saw. I use this thing for so long. I got this thing in and out of the trailers hundreds of times. I hated this thing because it's so big and heavy. Place your bets. Is this battery Gonna power up this beast of a saw. Ready? Let me see what happens here. Input, output. Wow. Man, it fired that up no problem. Let me see if I can find some bigger. Oh, let's get, get a two by four. A turbo four. It's not quite a two by four. I ripped it down. Let's see, I got my chainsaw bar oil. 
that out of the way. What's interesting is that weird European saw, it, it has always had this weird slow startup. This is old school. This is early 2000s and it just, just, just goes. Let's see here. It just buzzed right through there. No hesitation on startup. I kind of like it. Let's do some rapid fire. Woo! That'll make some sawdust. Went through this two by four like butter and didn't slow down, didn't stall out. Now that, uh, the screen times out to help save battery. That's why I keep hitting the button. Uh, that was a pretty good test, but make sure the sucker is off. Is it off? I don't know if it's off or on. What's, what's off? Circle or dash? Must be the dash. You know, I'm not sure what horsepower this is. Can't power your Porter Cable Pancake Compressor. Put your bets down below. So all this stuff is fine and dandy, but you're probably wondering, do you really run a job site off of these things? And the answer is yes. If you're building out in the country and you don't want to listen to a generator all day, it's very possible to power a job site off of one of these systems right here. Especially if you're building in the summertime and you've got a kilowatt of solar out, it'll pass right straight through and into your compressor store it in the battery. I know a guy right now is building a house and he's using solar and batteries for everything but welding. That's the only thing he can't get his battery to power is his welder. So everything else, all the compressors, all the saws, table saws, everything is charged off of solar and a solar generator. Most of the time when I'm using these, I'm powering my camper, I'm charging tool batteries, I'm charging electric bikes. When I'm out in the wilderness, camping, traveling, things like that. You've seen me use these in the past to power an air compressor to blow up inflatable kayaks and paddle boards in like two seconds. You can have an entire inflatable three-person kayak slash canoe fully inflated and ready to go. For the ladies, you got a little handle and wheels. For the guys, you just pick it up and carry it. Whenever you're thinking of buying something like this at this price point, do your research. Maybe go to the website, look up the specifications, uh, maybe even look up the customer service phone number and give them a call. See if anybody answers. That would be a good indication if it's a good purchase. So this is the part I wasn't looking forward to, but I think it actually went well. And that is pairing the phone app to the unit. Finish. There it is. Super Bass Pro 2000. Oh, wow. It works. All right. Now we got to find some amp up mode act function. Amp up mode on. There we go. We got a new icon that says amp up mode. Here's a look at the screen. I always turn the AC off unless I'm using it to save the battery. This is another really good setting. See how it says 1800 watts is the limit to charge this from the wall. I would turn that down to 500. Slow and steady. Unless you're in a big hurry, I would only put 500 there. It'll prolong the life of the battery. 2,096 watt hours in this bad boy. What does that mean? It means you could run a thousand watt heater for two hours. Surprisingly, you get over 90% efficiency on AC, which I've never seen before. This is one of the most efficient units I've ever tested. Usually you don't get anywhere near to what the battery capacity is. There is a Black Friday sale. That'll be linked down in the description. Go check it out, and like I said, do your research. Read all the specifications, make sure it's gonna meet your needs. Check out the warranty, maybe test the warranty out by calling customer service, see if anybody answers. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Do, 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 do. I guess we'll call this a little bonus footage. There'll probably be a little bit of a black screen, and then there's bonus footage. Uh, put down in the comments, did you get to see the bonus footage? Some of you follow me on the third channel or pay attention to everything I say in the videos, know that I just got back from a cross-country trip to Montana, the back country of Montana, where I was camping at 9,000 to 9,500 feet of elevation. And things got cold. The weather changed from, eh, it's doable, it's doable, let's go. 
Uh, two, we had to leave early because of a crazy snowstorm that was going to bring another foot of snow and drop temperatures down to negative five. I had some redundancies in the systems that I brought with me, heating and electricity. I started out using my plan B to test it out, which was solar panels and this style of battery system and worked great. I had enough solar, 800 watts, where all I needed was four to five hours during the day and the batteries would be fully charged. We use the batteries for microwave, making coffee and to run the furnace all night long. And man, if you guys know much about an RV furnace, uh, they run a lot, they're quirky. I've got another video coming out on furnaces where I'm gonna actually reference my RV furnace and how simple it is and how it's almost identical to a house furnace. And my knowledge of how furnaces work kind of saved us from freezing to death. So our main source of electricity was supposed to be that generator right there. And I tested it out every other day just in case. And we got to day five and we couldn't start that thing. And that's when the snow's starting to come in and covering up solar panels. What if this quirky RV furnace shuts down and doesn't want to fire up again? What if we run out of propane? Well, I had an electric heater that was also a backup plan, but that electric heater took so much electricity that it would only run off of a generator. The generator doesn't work. The electric heater doesn't work. Somehow we made it through the whole trip with just solar. I was actually getting 200 watts of solar in the snow. It was nuts. I couldn't believe it. It took much longer to charge the batteries and we had to be more conservative with the batteries so that we had enough electricity to power that 12 volt RV furnace all night long. Anyways, if you're interested more about that, that's uh, kind of what I do on my super secret third YouTube channel. I'm off the grid, out in the wilderness, having fun, having fun with my family, my friends. The way to get access to that SSTC is to direct message me on Instagram. That'll be linked down below. I'm gonna be doing much more thorough testing with this unit. I really hope that the way this connects to this is with just a Wi-Fi from here, like a local area network, not the internet. See you in the next video. Should be out tomorrow or the next day. Goodbye.